Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Excellent. We're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. Good evening. Good evening. How's everybody? Hi, good Norma. Evening. Hi, Ana. Hi, Ramiro. Walter. Hi. Very good. good Elmer Noel. We missed you yesterday. I miss you every day, Noemisita. What happened? Carlos, otro que se I am migraine. No, migraña. You had a migraine. Migraine. Migraine, all right. Ellie, good evening. Yes. Very good. Lizzy? So. All right. So, are we ready, guys? Are we ready to um, start? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. So, remember that yesterday I told you that today we're going to talk about when to use an infinitive gerund. All right, so there are some uh, specific verbs that we have to use with gerunds and some specific verbs that we need to use with infinitives and also prepositions. Okay? Okay. All right, so I'm going to uh, share this with you. El Mercito está por ahí. Yes, teacher. Here I am. Here I am. Ya no dice good evening. <laughs> good evening, my dear teacher. Oh, my How goodness. Cada vez ya no, no quiere menos este señor. All right, very good. So we have gerunds and infinitives, okay? Está por ahí Jennifer también. Jennifer. Me ha entrado. Hi, Roberto. Ninguna la luz Jennifer está. All right. Alex tampoco ha entrado. Okay, very good. Okay. So let's talk about gerunds and infinitives. And this is what we have. Eso es, ya sabemos que es un gerund, pero es importante volverlo a ver para que no, no nos perdamos acá. Gerunds are made by adding ing to the base form of a verb. Do plus ing, doing. All right. Swim plus ing, swimming. Fall plus ing, falling, all right? Pareciera que es un verbo, pero no es un verbo, es un gerundio, all right? En este caso se vuelven nombres, se vuelven sustantivos, all right? Falling in low, like that. Yes. Uh... right, very good. So, gerunds as nouns, es lo que estaba diciendo ahorita. Sometimes gerunds work like nouns in a sentence. Examples, a ver, Ramiro, read number one, please. Ramiro, number one. Smoking is dangerous. Smoking is dangerous. Very good. Eli Larin, can you read number two? Uh, swimming, swimming is healthy. All right. Swimming is healthy. Swimming is healthy. Very good. All right. Healthy. Next one. Noemi, number three and number four, the castigo que no estaba. <laughs> okay, I like shopping. Uh huh. She hates running. She hates running. All right. Okay. So here we have in sentence number one. Ah, Jennifer, estaba no. estaba preguntando por usted, Jennifer. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. So here we have um Carlos Alberto. Can you read in sentence one and two? Carlitos. Yes. Sentence one and two. Okay, in sentence, thank you, Carlos. In sentence number, sentences one and two, the gerund is the subject of the sentence. ¿Por qué es el sujeto? Porque está al principio de la oración y está actuando como sustantivo, como nombre. Smoking is dangerous, swimming is healthy, all right? Lizzie, can you read the rest, please? Hold on, Lizzie. Here, a uh holiday. -huh, Hello. In sentences three and four, the gerund is a object of the verb. Oh, okay. This is if we oops, ahí el show, el gerundio, shopping and running, están al final de la oración. Le siguen al sujeto, ah, perdón, al verbo. Se, se ponen después del verbo. I like shopping. She hates running. Se vuelve el objeto del verbo, de lo que estamos hablando. ¿Qué me gusta? Shopping. Que me gusta? Uh, dancing. I like dancing. 
I like um, learning English, ¿ok? So, that es otra vez un gerundio, solo que ya no actúa como sujeto, actúa como objeto del verbo, ¿all right? ¿Hasta ahí vamos bien o ya los confundí? No, vamos bien. Teacher. Excellent, very good. All right, let's continue here. All right, hold on. Okay. Gerunds after a preposition. Y eso es lo que empezamos a hablar ayer. ¿Se acuerda que decíamos que cuando hablamos de gerundio usamos uh, I use a cell phone for calling my friends, for example, usamos la preposición for. for. Pero ayer en el ejercicio vimos otras preposiciones, ¿ok? Y hay más. Entonces, por eso era y bien importante que estuvieran en clase de ahora para que se den cuenta que hay muchas más preposiciones que siempre van a seguir un gerundio. All right? So we have, a ver, eh, Ana, Dimas, can you read this one, please? The gerund. Gerunds after preposition. The gerund is the only form verbs take after a preposition on, in, by, with, under, throws, at, after, before, as, of, of. The gerund, thank you, Anita. The gerund is the only form, uh, the gerund is the only form verbs take after a preposition. On, o sea que vamos a usar un gerundio después de una preposición on, in, by, with, under, through, at, after, before, as, of, of for la que estamos usando, all right? Yes, all right. Entonces, si se dan cuenta, hay más de una. Ayer hablamos de at, ¿se acuerdan? Yes. Okay, so water is needed for growing for growing plants. Very growing. good. For growing plants. We pass the exam by working hard. I am tired of working so many hours. Y todos esos son gerundios. All right? Oops. ¿Van a copiar eso? Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right. Very good. Tisha. Yes. Uh, what is uh, the difference in pronunciation the of and of? Of and of. There's not much difference on pronunciation. Similar. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yes. Finished copying? Yes, copying. Finished. Okay. Very good. Okay. Here it says. When do we use, or when do you use gerunds after verbs? Y pues les tengo una mala noticia. Ajá. <laughs> Ajá. Mm. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. esto, no, Emisita? There are no, par ma no patterns, patterns. Uh -huh. patterns, patterns. Uh -huh. patterns for this rule. Ok, o sea que no hay patrones para esta regla, no hay. Si usted me pregunta, teacher, ¿y cómo me aprendo estos verbos? No hay, no hay, no hay ninguna clave. <laughs> All right, mire qué dice okay. ahí. Uh, you must memorize. You must which memorize. Verb, uh -huh. Which verb are following? Are follow. By Jenna, uh -huh. And which are followed by infinitive? Which we'll, we will get to in a moment. All right, okay. Entonces, aquí lo que, que nos quedó hacer el mercito. Memorizar, ni modo. Memorize it. Very good, Elmer. Very yes. nice, okay. No more. Y de hecho, le voy a dar un cuadro y hay más. Pero ese cuadro al menos con ese empezamos, okay? Okay. Verbs that are followed by gerunds. Okay. Todos esos verbos, después de esos Santo verbos, va a venir poder. un gerundio. Okay. 
acknowledge, admit, anticipate, appreciate, avoid, can stand, celebrate, consider, delay, deny, detest, dispute, dislike, enjoy, escape, excuse, fancy, finish, imagine, involve, make, mind, miss, postpone, practice, prevent, Propose, quit, report, recall, recollect, regret, resist, risk, suggest, understand, and recommend. ¿Algo otra cosita, teacher? Eh, no, solo recordarles que este nada más es el dulcito. <risa> ¿Verdad? Hay muchos más verbos. Entonces, estos van a... Tienen que ir seguidos de un gerundio. Ya. Yeah. O sea, que van... Quiero ver si van seguidos... Van, eh, estos van después de un gerundio, o antes de un gerundio. No, Ver, verbs that are followed by gerunds. Usted va a decir, I can stand going, I enjoy ah, okay. sleeping. Antes, antes. Yeah. Antes. Uh -huh. antes. Make, I don't know. Pero estos solo son los que se pueden usar así. Sí, con gerundio. Con gerundio. Sí. Estos se anteponen prácticamente yeah. al gerundio. Yeah. Ah, ok. Esta okay. es la punta you, del iceberg. Ajá. Very good, Jennifer. <risa> es ya así como que ustedes tienen que eh, ver qué otros, ¿verdad? Pero esto es más o menos le da una idea de cómo es esto. <risa> ok, finish? Okay. Yes. Ok, let's continue. Infinitives. A ver, alguien que no haya leído hasta ahorita, ¿qué más tengo ahora? Ah, Roberto. Infinitives. A ver, Roberto, ajá. El teacher, the infinitive of the verb is the basic form of the verb. The infinitive of the verb, thank you, Roberto, is the basic form of the verb. Ok, ah, pero mira qué interesante, Lizzie. There are two forms of infinitives. There are two forms of infinitives. Ale Arias, can you read it? Um, swim, live, eat, play, bear, infinitive. Bear, infinitive. ¿Por qué creen ustedes que se le llama bear, infinitive? Why do you think it's bear, infinitive? ¿Como variable o algo? No sé. ¿Qué le, qué le ve al infinitivo que no... ¿Qué le hace falta? Uh, ¿Una acción? El tú. El tú. La el partícula tú. Tú. To swim, to live, to eat, to, to play. Eat, en este caso play. no lo lleva. Y si no lo lleva, se le llama bare infinitive. Ahora right, ya vamos a ver cuándo uso el bare infinitive y cuándo uso el, infin el full infinitive. A ver, um, Federico, can you read the other examples? To swim. No, Jennifer Acosta. Yes, to swim, to live, to eat, to play. Okay, Equal that's full the, infinitive. Excellent, okay. When you have the particle to plus the verb, nosotros sabíamos que se, se llamaba infinitivo, ¿cierto? Pero como hay dos tipos de infinitives, el que lleva el to se le llama full infinitive, y el que no lleva el to se le llama very infinitive, ¿ok? Pero es igual, es infinitivo anyway. Infinitives, uh, usamos los infinitives after adjectives. Elmer, can you read please? Infinity after adjective. We, we use the full infinity after adjective. Example, I am happy to see my friends. We were surprised to get first place. Okay, so happy is an adjective, surprise. So you don't say, I am happy seeing my friends. I am happy to see my friends. We were surprised getting first place. We were surprised to get first place, okay? Now, otro cuadrito. Verbs that are followed by infinitives, okay? Teacher, ¿podría poner la anterior a la, la otra? La antes que esa? Esa nada más.
Thank you. Gracias. Okay. Okay. Y estos son con los infinitives. Y use to in the in the this verb. Yeah, you can use both actually. Well, in this case, you can use two with the, the full infinite. Ah, okay. Okay, finished? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, when we talk about aquí vamos cuando um, we, we use the other type of infinitives, the, when we use modal verbs. The modal verbs, recordándoles cuáles son can, could, have to, must, might, should, ought to, all right, we're always going to, be, to use the very infinitive. Si se recuerda, cuando hablamos, hemos hablado de los verbos modales, yo no digo I can to go, for example. No digo, I can to swim. Si usted dice de eso, a mí me va a dar algo, ¿ok? Usted dice, I can to swim, ¿cierto? Guys, yes? Yes. yes. Ok, yes. so in this case you say, yes. I can swim. Entonces se le llama very infinitive porque es un infinitivo a pesar que no lleva el tú. A menos que ya lo lleve. Por ejemplo, have to. Oops, sorry. Have to ya lleva el to, pero lo lleva el, el verbo modal. El o to lo lleva también. Lleva la partícula to en este caso. O la preposición to, pero no, no es porque lleva, no es porque sea el full infinitive, sino que lo lleva el verbo modal consigo. Como que lo lleva después, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero son los únicos dos. Have to, o to. Los demás no llevan el to. Entonces usamos el very infinitive. I can swim, I can speak English, I could drive, I must study, she might come to my house, we should uh, see each other again. All right, si se fijan, ninguno de esos lleva el tú. Yo no digo we could to study or you should to come to my house. Okay, yo digo you should come to my house. Siempre sigue siendo infinitivo, pero se le llama very infinitive. Okay. Okay, finished? Yes. Ah, okay. Y para complicar un poquito más, <laughs> o para facilitar, no sé, tenemos verbs followed by gerunds and infinitives. Hay unos que se prestan para cualquiera de los dos, ya sea infinitives or gerunds. A ver, eh, Roberto. Yes. Can you read, please? This bird say infinite in gerunds. Begin, continue, hate, try, need, like, love, prefer, and start. Examples, um, Elizabeth. Eli, no? Eli Larin, can you read it, please? Okay. The, uh, the examples. Yes, please, the examples. One, I hate exercising. 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 I hate to exercise. Okay. <laughs> Next one, eh, Ale. Yeah. I love swimming. Yes. I love to swim. Ah, okay. I love swimming. I love to swim. Okay. Y miren lo que dice aquí. A ver, eh, Elmer, por aquí. Ajá, Elmercito. Donde dice the meaning of sentence That's one, right. at one, two, and three, four, four. is the same. 
Okay. The meaning of sentences, thank you, Emir. One, two, three, and four is the same. Usted, usted puede decir, I hate exercising. Y puede decir, I hate to exercise. Y no pasa nada, las dos son correctas. Y está diciendo lo mismo. I love swimming okay. or I love to swim. Y en los dos casos, usted le encanta nadar. Con gerundio o con infinitivo, no hay problema. I love swimming, I love to swim. No cambia el significado, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. So, tiene que, en este caso son como menos, ¿verdad? Begin, continue, hate, try, need, like, love, prefer, and start. Puede ir con ambos. ¿Vamos bien hasta aquí? Guys, are we okay? Uh, yes, teacher. Verse followed by gerunds and infinitive two. Second part. These verbs are followed by gerunds and infinitives. Remember, stop, forget. Oops. But the meaning changes if the verb is followed by infinitive or a gerund. Estos tres, en este caso, pueden ser usados con ambos, pero el significado va a cambiar. Una cosa va a ser que usted lo ocupe con gerundio y quiere decir una cosa y si lo ocupa con infinitivo va a decir otra. No es el mismo significado. No es como estos que teníamos aquí atrás. I hate exercising and I hate to exercise. Ahí no pasa nada. Es lo mismo. All right. Let's look at these ones here. A ver, leamos estas. Eh, Glenda, ¿está por ahí? Glenda, no. Yes, teacher. Okay, Glenda, can you read sentence number one, please? It's, uh, okay, number one. Fran remembered mailing the letter. The letter. Fran, Fran had a memory that he mailed the letter. He saw in it in his mind. Okay, number two. Fan remembered to mail the letter. First, he remembered that he needed to mail the letter. Then he did it. He mailed the letter. He didn't forget to mail the letter. Okay. So, el, el significado es como... Como no... Mm, como, podría ser como confuso porque no es tan, tan diferente esa es la palabra, ¿ok? Pero sí hay diferencia, ¿ok? So one, una cosa es decir, Frank remember mailing the letter, él se acordaba que lo hizo, ¿no? Ahora en la otra, when you use an infinitive, you say Frank remember to mail the letter, quiere decir que él sí lo hizo, en la otra solo parece que se acordaba que sí haberlo hecho. En la siguiente dice, sí, él, él, él envió la carta. Do you understand the difference? Soso. Soso, ya yeah, no. A ver, right, veamos la otra. Number four, three and four. A ver, um, Ale, Arias. Ok, Sonia, stop eating ice cream. She doesn't eat ice cream anymore. Sonia, stop to eat ice cream. She stops another activity to eat ice cream. Okay, do you, under, do you see the difference? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. All right. A ver, number five and six, what? Walter, Walter? Yes, teacher. Can you read four and six, five and six, please? Okay, Jane forgot to meet John. Jane had planned, uh, planned to meet John, but she didn't meet him because she forgot about the plan. 
Jane forgot meeting John. Jane knew John, but afterwards she didn't remember that. Okay, all right. So here, guys, we have the, the examples with the verbs remember, stop, and forget. All right, that you may use infinitive or gerund, but there's going to be a slight change in meaning. Okay, so you really, ahí va a depender of what you really want to say. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's go back here. Vamos a ir uno por uno aquí. A ver. Vamos a empezar con esto. Vamos a ver, vamos a usar gerundio. Hay dos formas de usar gerundio. En este caso hay dos, hay más, pero en este caso vamos a estudiar dos. Como, como sujeto y como objeto, ok lo voy a mandar a su grupo y me van a hacer dos oraciones usando gerundio como sujeto y dos oraciones usando gerundio como objeto that's activity number one ok, okay. activity number two I want you to choose um, four prepositions ok from this chart and when you choose the four prepositions, I want you to write four sentences using gerunds, okay? You understand? Repeat the second activity, please. Okay, the second activity is I want you to choose four prepositions from this slide right here. You can use on, you can use before, you can use for, and you can use under. But remember that you need to use a gerund. Okay? Okay. Activity number three. I want you to use this. I mean, hold on. I want you to use the chart. Choose um, how many? Choose four verbs. Okay? De cualquiera de estos que están acá. All right? And make sentences using gerunds. Porque estos verbos son los que nos ayudan con los gerunds. Okay? How many teachers? Four. Okay. Okay. Quedémonos con esas actividades. Vamos a los grupos and I want you to be working on the activities, okay? So remember, activity number one is I want you to make sentences using gerunds as subjects and using gerunds as objects. Activity number two is I want you to choose four prepositions and I want you to make sentences with gerunds. And activity number three, I want you to choose four verbs from this chart and make uh, from that chart. No, 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 no. From no. The other, no, the other chart. I'm sorry. From this chart. Yes. I want you to use to choose four verbs from this chart. Okay. And I want you to make sentences using gerunds. Do you understand? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Van a tomar foto o ya lo tienen todo. Can I take any example? Of what? Examples of what, Elizabeth? Eh, en el uno tengo dudas cuando dice que vamos, eh, when we have to make a sentence with Jerome. Uh -huh. yeah. Using as a subject and using it as an object. Here uh, we can use, but then, me cuesta oírle, Elizabeth. Number three. Uh -huh. How many, how many, um, now, sentences? For I think I said two and two. Four, two, the, uh -huh. the subject and two, two objects. Object. Okay, all right. Hmm. Okay, all right, I'm will... gonna send you right now to your groups and then Elizabeth voy a llegar a su grupo y le voy a explicar, okay? okay thank you. Okay. Thank you. 
Anna and Ali, go to your groups. Hi, Ali, go to your groups, okay.
mucho y no. No. Y todo es con tú. Yes. Eh, other, I go to. Mm. I go to driving a car. Pero con otra, con otra preposición que no sea tú. Mm. Ok. Eh. Eh. Uh -huh. My dear teacher. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, I, I, I am tired of working so many hours. So many hours, no. I am tired I'm of... I'm lazy. Lazy? I am lazy? No. How do you say, teacher? Um, let me see. El sentimiento cuando uno está demasiado lleno, que ha comido mucho, 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 mucho. I'm, I'm full. I'm full. I'm full. No, but eh, como pereza. Lazy. Lazy, lazy is good. Sí, pero lazy. Hagan. I'm lazy. Of eating so many yeah. food. So much okay. food. So much food. Okay. <laughs> <Está bien. laughs> I, uh, I am tired of dreaming much. Cuando no duerme bien, para teacher. I am. So, so yeah. dreaming of dreaming uh, much. Tired. I am, I am tired. Yes. Uh, I am tired of uh, of dreaming much. Cuando dreaming. usted no le, le concilia, ajá, cuando no le sustenta el sueño. Ajá, porque sueña tanto que... Uh -huh. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Ay, Elmer. Uh, and yeah. the next is uh, the exercise three. Use for verbs to make sentences. Just in general. So. The coffee is needed for a sleeping in the office. For not for sleeping. Not, for not sleeping, yes. For for not, <laughs> not sleeping, yes. Sleeping. For not sleeping. In the office. Mm -hmm. The office. Yes, mm -hmm. and for sentences. Just in general, to accompany. My dear. ¿Cuál? Te tengo una, vamos a ver. <laughs> ok. De, ¿Cuál? Observación. Do you say eh, poner gasolina? We put gas. Yeah. We put gas on your car. Uh, we put gas mm -hmm. in my car before going to the to the beach gas in my car mm -hmm. correct. yes it is we put gas in my car before going to the beach okay i am this um the room before driving the motorcycle Mm -hmm. Is correct? Say it again. They room before driving the motorcycle. They run before driving. Yes. Driving. But again, before. No, driving. No, but you're driving, using before, drive. before. In two sentences, you're using before. Ah, es que se la estamos pensando con before. Ah. <laughs> eh, solo que number hey, one. No me is mate not la correct. pasión. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> eh, Noé and Ramiro, number one is not correct. 
Eh, sí, queríamos... Eh, es que, ajá, estábamos. También, okay, sí. no le mato la paseo. <risa> sí, eh, con Noemi queríamos saber ahí cómo, cómo eh, María hacía movie with, eh. Pero no, no hallamos cómo arreglarla. Queremos decir que la María vio la película con, con terror, con ah, miedo. Yeah. Pero lo que pasa es que terror no es, nunca va a ir con gerundio porque no es... Ajá, no es. Un tipo verbo, ¿verdad? ¿O qué, o qué se que... le podría parecer para que agarre esa, esa o no, forma? No Ajá. Ah, espérenme que no sé. Estoy pensando. Sí, sí, amor. Ay, la voy. Ajá. <risa> bueno. Okay. Y el, eh, la otra que yo le hice que me mató el amor, estaba buena. <risa> ya. Yeah. Sí. Okay. An anótela, Ramiro, anótela, que te va a ayudar ahí en, las, en los Re videos. Repeat, please. <laughs> repeat the sentence. They room mm -hmm. before driving. Before driving. Driving the motorcycle. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ay, me falta una. Teacher, in, yeah. in, in the example, the three sentences, mm -hmm. uh, neither, neither, neither is in past, and um, past, and um, tighter. When the finish is a... Tighter is an adverb. No, it is not a verb. In that case, yes. it, it's verb. like an adjective. I am tired. An adjective. Uh -huh. uh, past, okay. past, past. We passed, we passed the sir. exam. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a verb. Okay. Es que, y esta, what is it needed? Y esta está como en, en voz pasiva. Está en voz pasiva. Uh, well, que no han visto me... todavía. <laughs> ah, sí, por eso estamos así. Medio... Ajá, el agua es necesaria o necesitada. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's needed for growing plants. Okay. Entonces, food. Okay. Nos falta una ahí, Ramiro. Food is um. it's needed. It's needed for um. my my. Uh, mi cuerpo, ¿cómo se llama? My body. For... my body. For my body. For mm -hmm. Alimentando, ¿cómo se llama? For eating. No. no. For feeding, eating. For feeding. Uh -huh. For feeding. My body for is needed, needed for. Ah. No, no hay como verbo saludable o algo. Uh, ¿Vital? ¿Vital? Uh, for, for, ¿Vitaling? For, no, vital. Para, para fortalecer. For, 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 for strength. Um, ¿Fortalecer el qué? El, el cuerpo. cuerpo. My body. For, For strengthening the body. Strength. How do you spell that, teacher? <laughs> S-T-R-E-N. E-M. N, N, N. N. Strength. Strength. G-H-T. No, 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 no. Borre eso. Ahí. G-H-T. H-T, ajá. Uh -huh. I -N -G, ING, strengthening. Okay. Strengthening. Strengthening. For body. For body. Okay. Teacher, no nos dijo de la primera. Estoy pensándola todavía, no es. <laughs> Es que con 
I don't know. I think with 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 is very is kind of difficult. With going with. It, it with on on okay. Maybe see a movie on um, watching Netflix. No, no. 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 Watching. Yes. Lo que pasa es que acuérdense Netflix. también que no todos los verbos pegan con gerundio. Ajá. Es correcto, porque si no suena. <laughs> only, only change with. But we need to like, I want to give you an example, but I can't think of any right now. Ya me pusieron en... <laughs> in, in Jeopardy here. I don't know. Me va a quedar de tarea. With at or after, no? I, I... Like, remember yesterday con el at, era, I am good at. Very seasonally at. You can say, I am good at uh, memorizing names, for example. Ah, okay. For example, maybe. At memorizing. Mm -hmm. Or you say, I am good at speaking English. Memorizing. Names. Names. Mm -hmm. Maria is good at memorizing names, yes? Okay. Okay. Uh, this order. Yes. Performed by Terence. Okay. This lie, um, this lie, for example, this lie reading. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Sí, no entendía. <laughs> um, Terminamos el ejercicio porque nos esforzamos mucho. Excellent, Eli. Está bien. Uh, we finish the exercise by spilling too much. Yeah, you can say that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, la, la otra que me escrito es Ellie wants to visit her. Ellie wants to what? Excuse me? Before, before. But that's not Jaron, that's Ellie infinitive. Wants to visit her parents be before, before gra graduating of university. Ah, very good. Yes, nice. Yes. It's good. Yes. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Por ahí okay. vamos. <laughs> yeah. De la, de la primera. Teacher. Yeah, I know it's difficult. Yes, it is. En esta nos hemos trabado un poco más. <laughs> Ajá. Y todos en están la... así, no se preocupen. <laughs> Oh, well. And the other example, teacher, I'm happy of traveling to France is correct. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm traveling. Yeah. Of, oh, I am happy of traveling to sure. France. You can say I am happy of becoming a doctor. Okay. And the other, getting an open sleep is good for having good faith. Yes. Good. Yeah. Okay. And she hates le learning Italian. Excellent. <laughs> the traveling is fun. Traveling is funny. Traveling is, is the subject. Traveling is funny. No. Mm -hmm. It's um. In the primer traveling is fun. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Oh, fun. It's fun. Fun. And the working is tired. It's tiring. Tiring. Yeah. I-N-G. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Vamos a hacerla. Vamos a hacerla. De estas cuántas eran? Tres, cuatro también. Eh, dos y dos. Preposition. De las prepositions eran. I think it was four, ¿no? Yes, four. Tres hemos hecho ahorita. Nos falta una. Okay. 
Quiero ver. Ah, no, ya tenemos las la cuatro. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Ah, pues sí, ya tenemos las cuatro. Ah, pues la, el, tercero, el tercero era... Del cuadro. Del cuadro. También tenemos que escoger cuatro. En ese cuadro, teacher, uh -huh. va el cuadro que decía verbs that are followed by Jerome. That's right, yes, Ellie. Uh -huh. Esas vamos a poner, o sea, por ejemplo, yo elijo dislike. Uh -huh. I dislike Let's eating fish. Uh, Disliking. I dislike. dislike no. El que el verbo ah, que le sigue el es el con gerundio. Que le sigue el que voy a poner en gerundio. Sí. Ah, eso no Entonces yo le digo I dislike eating fish, for example. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. O le digo I enjoy traveling. That's right. Ah, ok. Va. Very good. Cuatro de eso vamos a escoger también. Yes. Ok. Thank you. Aquí nos lo escribimos en el chat y después nos lo revisamos. <risa> no fácil. Ahí está. Hi Eli, hi Walter. Hi teacher. How are you? ¿Cómo van? Um, I believe that. You're doing okay? It's okay. I believe. It. You believe. <risa> All right. Okay. No, ¿Cómo va usted? ¿Está ¿Eh? bien, Walter? Eh, it's a little bit confusing for, for sometimes, but we need to take practice. And yeah, more, more practice. that's right, yes. Okay. De hecho, vamos a seguir con el tema mañana. But... You know, it's, not, it's not very, it's not easy, all right? It's not easy. Mm -hmm. So we, tomorrow we will uh, keep on practicing a little bit more. Okay, Walter? Okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. But we will try. Of course, yeah. No, yeah, you have to, yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. We're going to go back to the main room right now, okay? Okay. 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 Uh, were you able to finish? Yes. Yeah, some of you were. Very good. I don't know if everybody was able to finish, but <laughs> I was telling Walter and Elizabeth that tomorrow we will continue with this topic because this topic is not difficult, but it's a little bit confusing. Okay? Yes. So yes. tomorrow we will keep on practicing with some more exercises. Uh, using the different forms of the gerunds and the different forms of the infinitives, okay? So please try to be in class tomorrow. Okay. Okay, okay guys, so I have to go right now. So keep on practicing and tomorrow we will also keep on practicing together, okay? Okay. okay. Cool. All right, guys, have a good night. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.